I feel like anything you put your mind to it, no matter your age, you can do. I want to introduce you to a young lady who lives to give back, back to her community and those who truly need it the most. Tonight's Reaching for Excellence Young Achiever hails from North Kansas City High School. Sophomore Mary Rectin Story is sure to move you. And we did everything together. This is the story of an unbreakable bond between two sisters. We were really close. Mary Catherine Rectin and Annie. She loved American Girl dolls. We did gymnastics together. It was seven years ago, but Mary Catherine remembers it like it was yesterday. We were both in gymnastics and Annie was falling off the beam. She couldn't balance. Upon a visit to an area hospital, a diagnosis no one saw coming. They found the brain tumor in her left side of her brain. It was the size of a golf ball. Astrocytoma brain tumor. Stage four. Annie underwent emergency surgery and was later moved to St. Jude's Hospital in Tennessee. Mary Catherine says things started to get better. Her treatment was going so well. She was like completely beating cancer. It was like, like, you know, it was really good. The family took a trip to Disney World, a gift from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. A couple weeks after we got back, she started to like really go downhill. Her cancer started to reject the treatment. She ended up passing um, three days before my birthday. That's just really hard. Annie was just six years old. Today, Mary Catherine is on a daily mission to keep Annie's legacy alive and to help other kids and families touched by cancer. So many people paid for it and gave back to me when I was in a struggling time. And so I just want to help others as much as I can. And that she is. As a part of Team Up for St. Jude, here she is at her gold out game at North Kansas City High School. She organized this to benefit St. Jude's Hospital. It was amazing. $2,300 raised that day. I'm so beyond thankful that I get the opportunity to raise money for such an important cause. She credits St. Jude and her church for helping her find the strength to move forward. She's all about living, you know, fulfilling her, her sister's legacy and trying to better everyone else's life around her. Mary Catherine Student Council Advisor Patrick O'Keefe calls her selfless. The ability for a, a young girl of her age so much and just turn it around into such a positive thing to help other people is just, I mean, unprecedented. In fact, she won the Student Council of the Month Award for her work for St. Jude. No matter what you go through in life, it always gets better. Every year, she and her family take part in the local St. Jude's Walk. Their team, Annie's Angels. Mary Catherine doesn't call her work special. She calls it her duty. What is your definition of excellent? Someone who goes above and beyond what a normal person would do. You don't consider yourself excellent? Um, no, I kind of consider myself, this is something like everyone should be doing. They should be looking out for other people that can't help themselves. Amazing. Mary has a 4.275 GPA and is also a gymnastics teacher at KC Gym. She plans to attend law school and wants to become a criminal justice.